Good afternoon. This is Ryan with God Gains Glory. I just wanted to make a, a short video uh, before I begin to make more videos that pertain to Jesus Christ, to God, uh, to give Him glory, to encourage and edify the, the saints of God, to give faith to the lost, to open blind eyes. For faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And that's not just the scripture, but anytime God speaks through a vessel and God anoints what that vessel is saying, and it is of God and from God and for God and truth, then uh, it can build up faith and points to Jesus. Jesus said, if I am high and lifted up, I will draw all men to myself. So everything that is done should be for the glory of God. I will be making videos of testimonies that I have experienced and been a part of, and God has allowed me to be a vessel uh, within those testimonies. Uh, and uh, it isn't to draw attention to myself, but it is to draw attention to Jesus, to the Father in heaven, to the Holy Spirit, to what God is doing in earth right now. Not what God has done hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, although we can talk about that and we will talk about that. But what God is doing right now through human Saints, sons of God, servants of God, sons of God, friends of God, right now. Uh, and uh, I'm just one person in the universal body of Jesus Christ, Jesus being the head of the body. And uh, Jesus' body is made up of saints, sons of God, that have put faith in Jesus Christ and what he's done on the cross for us, delivering us from sin, death, the devil and adopting us in his family by his Holy Spirit and through his blood. So I'm going to be giving some testimonies of the mighty things, the wonderful things that the Father has been uh, used me for, done through me, all glory to Jesus. You know, Jesus said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Some people would say, well, didn't Jesus say you shouldn't do anything before men, like pray before men or, or make any proclamations before men. No, Jesus didn't say that. If you go back into the scripture, he was speaking about the religious community and it said that they prayed before men with the expressed purpose to be seen or noticed by men, to get an attaboy, to get a pat on the back. And Jesus said, they have their reward because the motivation of their heart was they wanted people to glorify them, to honor them. They put on the, the best attire. They made long speeches. They made uh, grandiose prayers out in the open for the express purpose that men would look at them. It didn't point to God. It evidently didn't point to God because the people in Israel that followed the Pharisees and the Sadducees fell into the same ditch that the religious leaders fell into leading men into. It was the blind leading the blind. They all fall into a ditch. And Jesus rightly said they have their reward um, because most of them went to hell. Many of them blasphemed the Holy Spirit. Their motive was themselves. Uh, building an earthly kingdom for themselves, being bringing, b desiring earthly honor for themselves, the best seat in the synagogue for themselves, for men to say, attaboy, good job. They desired riches, they desired wealth, they desired power, they desired a spotlight, the preeminence, and wisdom, Jesus said, is justified by all of her children. Because the Pharisees, they would say to Jesus, you do all these things through the power of the devil. And, and Jesus is saying wisdom is justified by all of her children. He's saying the kingdom of heaven 
When I say repent, therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and is even upon you. The proof was in the pudding with Jesus. Jesus said, the words that I speak are life. They're life. When he spoke, things happened. Creative things happened. Miracles happened. Deliverance happened. Healing happened. He didn't speak and nothing happened. No, when he spoke, people either wanted to stone him, throw him off of a cliff, scorn him, call him a lunatic, the extreme persecution, or the opposite side, there was extreme deliverance, extreme healing, extreme miracle. He went about doing good, anointed by the Holy Ghost, healing everyone oppressed by the devil. And that should be the testimony of every single saint, not just Ryan, not just God gains glory, but I hope and pray that you would watch this and you would be encouraged. And, and from all of my videos, whether it's exercise related gains or it's something pertaining to what God has done through me or what I've seen God do, that you would do the same thing. You can do the same thing. You don't have to give your money that you make through your hard work and give it to other people to do the work of God. You can utilize that money yourself to do the work of God. It is good to give. It's good to give cheerfully, to give to those in need, to give to the work of God. That's good. But there's too many pew warmers. There's too many people as spectators in this walk when Jesus said, occupy till I return. That doesn't mean sit on the couch. It doesn't mean to sit on a pew. It doesn't mean to just relegate the work of Jesus to the pastor or your funds going to a specific missionary that's actually not doing anything. Let me tell you, there's a lot of missionaries out there. They're not doing anything. They're not doing anything. Jesus says, when I return, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith on the earth? That is the condition of the earth right now. You want a Nana? Okay, I'll give you Nana just a second. I'll give you Nana. You want to say hi? hi say God gains glory. Hi, uh, so I will be throwing up testimonies of the wonderful works of God, and I pray that you would be blessed and you would likewise do the work of God and see God move mightily in your life. Jesus said, who is my friend? Who is my mother? Who is my brother, my sister? But he that does the will of my Father in heaven or the will of the one who had sent him, which is the Father in heaven. Listen, if you are a friend of Jesus, the evidence is going to be there. You know, the, it, it says in the word of God that the righteous is a tree of life. And they that win souls is wise. So think about these things and know that when I post testimonies, it is because I want to encourage you and I want to show you that what God is still doing today, what he wants to do more frequently, what he wants to do more powerfully, what he wants to do in your personal life. And he wants to. He, he wants to talk to you. He wants to love you. He wants to know you intimately, personally, like a best friend, like a father, like a lover. That's God. He's not just in the backdrop and uh, non-existent and comes to your aid occasionally. That's not God. He is. He's with us always, if you're a saint, even to the end of the age. And lo, Jesus said, I am with you even to the end of the age. God bless God gains glory. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus.